Hi all folks, this is Max from GalaxyS2Root.com uh, Anyway, today I'm going to show you how to install a new ROM Also, um, they got this ROM called uh, Mad Mac Which is based on uh, based on latest 2.3.4 uh, ba Basically it's a Samsung ROM rooted uh, For those of you who don't care about um, getting rid of, you know uh, Getting rid of uh, Samsung bloatware you can install this ROM and get the latest of 2.3.3 anyway go copy the ROM file into the uh, the root folder of your phone and also let me show you that this is running uh, about phone 2.3.3 so we're gonna upgrade it to 2.3.4 one of the ROMs that's uh, been leaked so let's go do that uh, once you've copied the files over uh, you're gonna power it off okay Hold down the power button, power off, okay. And then we're gonna get into the uh, the Clockwork Mod Recovery mode. Of course, you have to have your phone rooted and installed uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, if you didn't, go to my site, galaxyst2root.com, I have it there. So hold down the volume up, um, the home button, and the power button to get into Clockwork Mod Recovery. All right, just hold it down until you see flashing twice, and then you'll get into the orange clockwork mod recovery uh, menus. And also make sure you back up your current ROM, uh, or at least you should have made one backup, and also you should have backed up your apps um, and um, the apps that you want to back up using titanium backup. I have instructions on also on that at uh, Galaxy um, S2Root.com. So once you're here, uh, I hope you can you backed up your current ROM. I've already done that. Um, once you've done that, we're gonna do five, wipe data factory reset. Hit the center button, home button, and say yes, and hit the home button. This will take like three seconds, and then we're gonna go flash the new ROM file. So we're gonna go to install zip from SD card. Hit the home button. Choose zip from SD card. Hit the home button. And then you're going to go find the uh, ROM file. For me, it's uh, Mad Mac 1.6-CWM. That's the, file, the ROM file you copied over. You don't have to unzip it. You just copy it over to your uh, phone's internal storage. And choose that and the ROM file, whatever you, you want, ROM you want to install. And then hit the uh, center button and say yes. And this will install a new ROM. All right, and it should take like five minutes, so I'll be back when this is done. Hi, right, folks. So it says uh, installing kernel, and uh, everything went fine. So I'm gonna hit the power button to go back, and um, hit the home button to reboot. And I'll be back when this reboots. Um, actually, let me show you what it looks like. Anyway, this is a really great phone. I really love it. Um, this is my phone, uh, my friend's phone actually. This is the international unlock version. You can actually get it on Amazon for like 600 bucks. Um, but for those of you in the US, I would probably just get the, uh, the subsidized version such as from Sprint, AT&T. Actually, yeah, yeah, I would. And uh, I'm gonna get the Sprint uh, Epic Touch 4G which is the Galaxy S2 version for Sprint. Um, actually, the it's gonna be the same because this ROM is based the um, the screenshot or the splash image is gonna be the same as stock. This is basically stock rooted latest ROM based on 2.3.4. Um, also, when you have OTA updates and you want to unroot and go back to it, don't do that. Uh, my advice is if you wait like a couple days or a week, they're gonna be a, a rooted ROM with those updates, um, and you can just you know install those ROMs. Uh, that's better So I'll be back when this is done. So it rebooted. Um, it's gonna obviously reset everything So I'm gonna go sign in and I'll be back Hi folks, so I've got the new ROM installed. Um, so that's how you install a new ROM uh, If you have trouble if it's not rebooting you can always go back to your older ROM. Hopefully you backed it up um, And I found the problem with this new ROM. It's not getting any. Uh, it's only getting voice signal getting that data so I'm gonna go restore it back to uh, uh, stock or I'm gonna go try some other ROMs. So that's how you install a new ROM on the Galaxy S2 phone.
thanks y'all and subscribe and uh, check out galaxys2root.com thanks y'all bye bye